Hi, Daniel Platt here, and today I want to answer the question, should I close my MySQL connections in PHP? So the short answer is yes, you should, but let's show you. If I bring over here some code from the PHP website, and this is how you connect to MySQL. So we're gonna use this for the moment. And let's put this into a file and just get it to work. Uh, we don't need a database. I'm pretty sure my dev password is root. It shouldn't be, but it is. So let's give that a whirl. And hopefully everything should work. Brilliant. So we are connected to MySQL and then we close it. What happens if we, t we take out the close? Well, everything's gonna work perfectly. Let's wrap this in a loop. Uh, uh, and let's see what happens. Okay, we were able to la launch that connection 150 times. And again, I think PHP is closing it for us. Try it slightly more. Okay, let's try something slightly different. Actually, let's keep track of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm making sure I'm, I didn't actually close the connection because that wouldn't have helped. Let's try that again. Right, okay. So what was happening was PHP was closing the connections for us because we were unsetting the variable. I don't know if this is a change to PHP recently because I do know in the old days, in like 5.6, that if you connected to the database and didn't close it, it got left open for you. Now it might be the change between persistent connections and not and not. Basically, if you keep opening in connections without them being closed, you'll run into this limit of too many connections because MySQL can only maintain so many connections. In fact, there's a variable for it. And it is max connections. So if I show you on the database. So on this system, I have 151 maximum connections. If a connection gets left open and doesn't, and doesn't get closed, then you will end up with this connect error. MySQL by default has a variable called wait timeout, which is set to an incredibly long time because you don't want to do some processing get your data and then try and use the database after you've done like a big query, um, after you've done a big amount of processing because the database will have gone away. 
It looks like the answer is no, you don't have to close your connections because something else is closing them for you. But I would still close them. If you're using a framework, then that will be closing them for you anyway. But it's good practice to tidy up after yourself. If you do a query, you need free the result because all these things could lead to memory overflow if your script is running for a long amount of time. If it's closing, if your script is doing something very small and then closing and then opening up again, you're freeing all your memory. So it doesn't matter too much. If you're running a long term PHP script, I would close everything. If you're running short term scripts, it looks like you don't actually need to close your MySQL connection anymore. But it's good practice. Hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.